NASA announced plans to push back the launch date for its Crew-8 mission. Scott Heiler tells us what happened and the future of that mission. They're ready to go. We'll let them go. The eighth mission of NASA's commercial crew program, its launch sliding mainly because of traffic now outlooked for late February. Busy times on the ground and in orbit. The one thing on the ground is we're uh, going to work around a, a very important NASA commercial lunar payload services mission to deliver uh, NASA payloads to the, the South Pole of the Moon. The Moon mission with a tight launch window has to go from launch pad 39A, the same launch pad where crewed missions have to go from. And there's a lot of traffic on the International Space Station now. Crewed missions like AX-3 that went up last week and critical resupply missions, but will free up toward the end of February. On Crew-8, four astronauts will travel in SpaceX's Crew Dragon Endeavor, launching atop a new Falcon 9 booster. The Crew-8 update coming on NASA Remembrance Day, a ceremony held at the Kennedy Space Center. The brother of Gus Grissom, Apollo 1 astronaut, killed in a capsule fire during ground testing. I think uh, those early astronauts gave us that start and got us to the point where we are today. An idea not lost on the four launching next month. Three NASA astronauts, Commander Matthew Dominic, Pilot Michael Barrett, and Janet Epps, and one Russian cosmonaut, Alexander Grabinkin. They all spoke about the mission on Thursday. Uh, and now are deemed spaceflight ready, and it gives us a chance to pause and to think about all the people, the large community that helped get us and our spaceships ready to go. And when they do go and are up on the ISS, they will conduct 200 experiments while in low Earth orbit for their 180-day mission. That was Scott Heidler with that story.